Apologies for the late drop, mate. I was one of those losers that stayed up until 3.30 this morning watching Fulham lose 2-0 to Aston Villa. Absolutely fantastic. Please remember, if you're new here, to subscribe to the channel just down below. Right, the goals then. Kenny Tessay got caught ball watching. Luca Dean's able to easily put in a ball into the box. Philogene, who I'd never even heard of, for God's sake, manages to smash it past and through the legs... Of Burnt Leno. But what you may have noticed is that Kevin and Barbu actually got to the ball before Philogene fails to clear it and falls over like a carrier bag of sick. He's awful, mate. He's absolutely pathetic. And I don't like digging out players, but he should have been one of the first people that we sold in this transfer window. He can't play football, especially at a Premier League standard. And know what you're thinking. Oh, come on, Harry. This is just pre-season. No. If you can't cut it in pre-season, you can't cut it in the Premier League, for God's sake. I wouldn't even have been playing for my pub team. And I don't even play for a pub team, for God's sake. He doesn't do anything creative whatsoever. He can barely defend. I would rather a one-legged pirate out there playing right back for us or left back. Of course, yes, he was a right back playing left back last night, but still he was absolutely pathetic, mate. He makes Anthony Robinson look like prime Roberto Carlos. It is difficult viewing. I wouldn't want to put my worst enemy through this. It's so bad, mate. It's so bad. There is a reason why he went out on loan to Servia FC in January, mate. He's that bad. He's toilet. Get him gone. I don't want to see him in the Fulham shirt ever again. And somehow, he managed to play 90 minutes last night. 90 minutes. I, in all of my 20 stone, I could probably put in a better performance than that. Get him gone. He had one good moment in a Fulham shot. I'm so grateful for that Mitrovic header and the assist in the 90th minute way back in last August. But it's, it's over. Sorry, Kevin. Have fun in Serviette. I wouldn't even put him in League One. Redden are going through it, and he's not even good enough to play for Redden, for God's sake. Right, ran over. Goal two, then DRB. Well done for getting your debut goal for Aston Villa. Wonderful. The defence, the full defence is absolutely nowhere. The long ball came over the top. Issa Diop was somewhere on Route 66 having a bacon double cheese whopper meal from Burger King, if that's even a thing. Didn't even know the ball had come over. Diaby's through and is able to slot it past through his first Aston Villa goal. It's pre-season. It's not that deep. But we are only, what, two weeks away from the Premier League season starting? There's some worrying moments, mate. But there were some... Uh, there was some... All right, moments, some strong moments for Fulham. Willian's introduction in the second half, he instantly changed the game, mate. Changed Fulham's tempo, creativity going forwards as well. I'm a big fan of Bobby Deckard Dover Reed, but he just doesn't possess that same creativity as Willian, that same flair, mate. Sasha Lukic was all over the park yesterday, mate. An absolute battering ram in midfield, picking out quite a few lovely deep passes as well. He's going to need to seriously become a leader in this team with Polina being out. We don't know how long he's going to be out for. And I trust him. I trust him with my whole heart that he can do a fantastic job in place of Alexander Mitrovic. It's going to be an important role this season. Right, the next player, and I think all of you have read about him. You'll agree with me as well. Luca de Fugerol, the young 17-year-old centre-half mate. He held his own. He snuffed out a lot of interceptions against Aston Villa yesterday. Read a lot of Aston Villa's through balls and got the better of Cameron Archer on a few times when Aston Villa tried to sneak him round the back. Did get caught out at one point there, around the 30-minute mark, when he did bring down Cameron Archer after a through ball went through. Brilliant ball, by the way. Archer picked it up. He did bring him down. But it doesn't matter because we ended up saving the penalty. Congratulations, this kid, and I don't want to hype him up too much because I just I don't think that's very fair. It's putting pressure on someone that's so young. He looks like the real deal, mate. He looks really comfortable with the ball at his feet. Reading of the game is there. It's tip top, mate. And he he's my man of the match. Gave Ollie Watkins a good run for his money as well. He could have completely lost his head when he gave away a penalty at the age of 17. But it stayed screwed on. Well done, mate. You were absolutely fantastic. Some good little bursts from Vinicius as well. Had a couple of headers, had a couple of shots as well. Just need to start offering more, to be honest. If you had a good battle with Diego Carlos, did score an offside goal. Shame it didn't stand. 
He's getting himself into good spaces, but he just needs to create a bit more. We're not that team that's always going to be able to feed you through balls. Some of the runs have been fantastic, but we kind of need what Mitrovic brings, where he drops deep into the midfield and creates with our eights and our fours and can peel off and be at the heart of every attack. I just don't think Carlos Vinicius has got that in him. He just needs to beef up a little bit. That's all we need, mate. We need him to beef up and become a powerhouse. Good strong pressing from the Fulham front line as well, putting Aston Villa under tons and tons of pressure. Harrison Reed bossing it in midfield as well. I love it when he gets forward, mate. It's actually so good. He's becoming more confident with the ball at his feet. He's becoming a bit of a menace, to be honest with you, mate. A solid box-to-box -box midfielder, right? Some of the worries off the back of this morning straight last night, the lack of creativity, we just... I love Harrison Reed, but I feel like we need a solid number eight. We need to make a statement and sign someone like James Ward Prowse, mate. Another worry, Harrison Reed going off injured. We can't lose him and Polina. It like why is he playing ninety minutes against Brentford and then is playing instantly again against Aston Villa? Doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't make sense to me at all. We need to be in the market for more creative centre midfielders. It's as simple as that. I just can't get my head around why Silva played him for 90 minutes. He was always going to pull up, for God's sake. He, no, no one on that pitch should be playing 90 minutes, especially when goalkeepers are being subbed off at 45 minutes. But it's pre-season. It's not that deep. You just don't want players to get injured so close to the season. Right, some of the improvements. And Aston Villa need to improve that kit, by the way, because it's absolutely... Butters got let off in the opening five minutes. Konza had a free header on goal. I don't know what it is, but we don't watch a lot of our markers. Is it this zonal marking thing? We just pe let people run towards us. We saw it a lot against Brentford as well. People not watching runners and not closing down properly just needs to improve. It's just sloppy. You've when it gets to the Premier League, like Neil Warnock said, you gotta die to get three points. We didn't really put Aston Villa's back line under any pressure as well. Didn't create. Anything concrete in the first half and even the second half as well. Could be a worry, but we that's what I said. We need that attacking playmaker lying deep for us like a James Ward Prowse. Also, Harry Wilson as well, mate. He missed an absolute sitter around the 70th minute mark. Managed to break through, puts it wide, absolutely scuffs it, mate. He'll be having nightmares about that. He should be fed to the crocodiles. Him and Kevin and Barbu need to be left at Disneyland after all of that because it's absolutely pathetic. But I still love him and the bleach blonde hair looks class, mate. Good to see Luke Harris get some minutes as well. Had some decent shots on goal. Was very unfortunate to not convert any of them, but Martinez did get the better of him. Dibley Diaz as well was letting his presence known in the middle of the park. Solid experience from him. Very exciting player. So a lot of the youngsters getting a good run in last night. And... I'm excited for the future of Fulham. Hopefully we can tie him down some long-term contracts. Not like what happened to Fabio Carvalho and Harvey Elliott because that was an absolute disaster. Right, Kevin and Barbu, get out of my club. Simple as that. Don't want to see your face around there ever again. Chelsea up next. Sunday night. FedEx field. Probably lose. Chelsea actually looks scary going forwards. Please remember to like and subscribe just down below.